Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is a 16 minute vinyasa flow class designed to help relieve any tension you may be experiencing in your hips and your shoulders. The first 30 minutes of the class moves very slowly. It's a perfect class if you are looking to decongest in those areas of your body after work. The second 30 minutes of the class, uh, we build some heat and we work our way all the way around the uh, hips and the shoulders. So hopefully you feel relief and some satisfying stretches by the end of the class. The only prop you may need today, and it's completely optional, is a blanket. And if you have a blanket, we're just gonna roll it up into a sausage, uh, which we will use at the start of the class. I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice laying down on your back and coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. And for this, you may like to take a blanket. It does make it uh, a lot more comfortable as you rest back here, particularly if you do have tighter hips. So if you can roll your blanket up into a sausage, take the soles of your feet together and then place the blanket over the arches of your feet and then round the sides of your hips to help support you. Knees splay out wide to the side and then just rest back, hanging onto the edges of the blanket and then just nestle in. The blanket should snuggle in to the sides of the hips. And then just check your alignment through your spine. Try and minimize the arch through the low back by extending your tailbone toward your heels. Feel straight through your spine all the way up to the back of your skull. Feel for a hollow in the back of your neck and your chin lightly in toward your chest. And once you're comfortable and settled, gently close the eyes. and take a few deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe out, really relax your body weight down into the support of the mat, the support of the blanket. So the inner seams of your legs relax and soften from the pelvis toward the knees. And then try and feel for emptying your weight through the outer seams of your legs and your buttocks and your outer hips. So the hip muscles are generally fairly dense and the hip ligaments are fairly strong as well. So as you move through your practice, just be very receptive to your breath when you're moving in and out of the postures. So you can move in a way that feels kind, particularly if you are quite tight in that area of your body. And we'll just settle in for about 10 more breaths. and bringing this very calm, settled feeling to your practice as we start to move. 
So gently, gently rolling the knees in toward each other. Catch a hold one side of the blanket and shift it off to one side. And then go ahead, hug your knees in toward your chest and give yourself a little rock side to side. And then from here, cross at your feet, catch a hold of your feet. And if it's comfortable and accessible for you, take a few rolls through your spine and come all the way up and over your legs and make your way into child's pose placing yourself at the back of your mat split your knees quite wide here bring your big toes to touch and really take your time as you extend forward emphasize length to your in breath as you stretch forward onto the fingers and then nestle down in between your thighs Allow your forehead to rest and keeping your arms extended, your forearms up off the floor so your elbows are straight there and get the feeling you're spreading through your upper back, widening the shoulder blades away from your midline and keeping a soft energy around the back of your neck and the expression in your face. And remember, you can return here anytime during the class whenever you need to do less. Just join back in the flow whenever you're ready. And keeping your arms extended, press down fully through all the knuckles of your fingers and the edges of your fingers. And as you feel yourself breathe in, glide up onto all fours and keep your hands a little forward of your shoulders there. Bring your knees underneath your hips. And we'll just start to circle the hips. And you can circle in any direction. And really try and lean out into the sides of your hips, sides of your rib cage. and then circle back the other way let your head just follow the line of your spine so everything feels relaxed and fluid as you move and then make your way back to center place your hands underneath your shoulders bring your left knee to the midline of your mat and extend your right leg straight and rest your toes to the mat so your heels just reaching back and you can rock a little forward and back here just stretching gently into your heel and your right calf keep plugging down through the palms of your hands and then gently slowly raise the right leg flex your toes and take your right leg out to the left and place the left uh, place your right toes down and then lean into the right side waist gaze out over your right shoulder and breathe here just getting a little bit into the side body there bringing some length to the sides of the waist and the intercostal muscles and then just rock yourself back to center bring your right knee down to the floor and we'll switch sides left leg out left toes to the floor heel reaching back and take a very gentle subtle rock forward and back so you're not bouncing in your body all the movement is quite intentional selective and then raise your left leg and take your left leg over to the right and place your toes down on the floor and lean out into the left side of your rib cage, your left side hip and waist and taking one more deep breath in 
And as you exhale, come back to center, both knees on the floor, hip distance apart. Place them underneath your hips. And go ahead, walk your hands forward and come into a heart opening pose. Anahatanasana. Walk your hands forward there, but try and keep your hips balanced over your knees. And emphasize that shape of lifting your sit bones toward the ceiling as your chest and heart melts down toward the mat. And again, widen it through your upper back, shoulder blades drawing away from one another. And if you can, rest your head on the mat or just let it hover so your ears are in line with your arms particularly if you're a little tighter in the shoulders and breathe pressing down through your shins and the tops of the feet and on your next breath in gaze forward between your hands and just melt yourself down onto your belly we'll set up for sphinx pose making sure your elbows are a little forward of your shoulders elbows and forearms shoulder width apart Drop your head so your chin nods in toward your chest. Feel for a stretch through the very upper back and the back of your neck. And then as you feel yourself breathe in, start to feel like you're bringing your chest forward through your arms. And your shoulder blades draw toward one another and down your spine, which emphasizes a lift and opening through your chest engaging through your legs all the way down to all your toes take another deep breath in and here we're just going to melt down take your arms out wide to a T forehead down to the man and from here keep your right arm out at shoulder height your palm face down bend your left elbow so it points up toward the ceiling coming onto the fingertips and gently roll onto your right hip any amount there that feels comfortable and accessible in your body so your torso faces the left side of your mat and just try and keep your breath regular and smooth you might like to take your left knee bend it and perhaps tap the toe behind you just to give you another shape there to feel for that lovely opening through the top of your pec muscles the top of the chest and one more deep breath in and as you exhale come down onto your belly extend your left arm out just roll onto the left side hip when you're ready coming up onto the fingertips of your right hand And adjust yourself if you need to, if you didn't find that perfect shape to start with. And of course the top right leg could reach out behind you and you can tap the toes to the floor. Just exaggerating that stretch, don't overdo it. We're just finding a little bit of opening in your body, restoring range of motion in your body. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, come down onto your belly. Take your hands by your ribs, elbows pointing back. We'll transition into child's pose as you breathe out. Buttocks to the heels. And then up onto all fours. Tucking your toes and make your way into your first downward facing dog. Give yourself about eight breaths here to pedal out through your heels. Sway your hips a little, bend the knees, shake your head. And then just slow your movement down so you're able to find stillness. And let your gaze sort of settle to a nice steady place. Take three more deep breaths in and out. Next breath in, gaze forward between your hands, little bend in the knees and take as many steps as you like to travel up to the top edge of the mat. Place your feet hip distance apart 
And take an easy forward fold here. Let your hands find the corner edges of your elbows and fold forward. And try not to pull on your low back spine here. Just bending the knees as deeply as you need to. Allow your head to drop down. And start to bring some awareness into your feet. Finding that steady, even balance through all four corners of your feet. Lifting and spreading your toes. And then release your hands to the floor. Hang in ragdoll. Arms can go floppy. And then on a slow, long breath in, bring yourself all the way up to stand. Reach your arms overhead. Stand tall. Stretch out. And then release your hands to your heart center. We've got three half forward folds, few different variations here to open up through the upper body, particularly the shoulders. On your next breath in, send the arms up overhead, send your gaze up to the tip of your thumbs. And as you exhale, cactus your arms, take your arms out wide, elbows point back. And as you breathe out, bring your hands together and dome your spine, tuck your chin in really round through your upper back and then as you breathe in send the arms up overhead and exhale hands to your heart center <laughs> inhale second round arms overhead we'll take a side stretch now right hand to your left wrist and lean your hips out to the left and your arms out to the right as you breathe in come back to center and switch the hands take a side bend to your left Hug in through the left side of your waist, stretch out through the right side, up to centre, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. And now link your thumbs, space your fingers, take a big arch up and back, look up. Exhale, taking your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and fold. So deep bend in the knees there, let your head hang and let your fists move away from your back any amount there. Try and draw the shoulder blades in toward the midline of your back, shoulder heads up away from the floor. And then release your hands to your shins or in line with your toes, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, forward fold over the legs. Rise to stand on your in-breath. And as you exhale, bring your hands back to your heart center, standing tall. Inhale, arms overhead. As you exhale, press your palms, take them through your heart center and squat down. We'll come into Malasana. So you might like to widen your feet away from one another. Turn your heels in, your toes out. And you can rest your elbows on your knees there or you can come down a little bit further. Sit on the back of your legs and just pause there. So a little bit of resistance from your knees to your elbows, elbows to the knees. And as you provide that little bit of resistance, you should be able to lengthen through your spine, open through your chest. And tailbone moves away from the back of your skull, getting a little longer. And then bring your fingertips down or palms down to the floor. Bring your feet back to hip distance apart. And step your right foot back to come into lizard pose. Hands stay on the inside of your left foot there. Right knee drops down to the floor. And keep your hands on the floor there. If you are particularly open through the hips, you're welcome to come down onto your forearms. But try not to round your spine here. We're going to try and stay very open, long and unwrinkled through the front of the spine. So bring your heart forward through your arms. And allow your hips to sink down and forward, keeping a light engagement through your right buttocks and your right hamstring muscles. And just pause. It's nice to take a few uh, circles in this posture, just gently massaging the hips, opening and lubricating them with a little bit of movement. And then from here, toe heel your left foot out to the left even more and turn your toes out, your heels in. Balance on your right hand, take your left hand to the inner left knee. And you'll feel your body revolve to the left there. Left shoulder rolls back. 
and you can take that one step further if this is going okay for you left hand to the sky and you find a twist there you can even peel open onto the pinky toe side of your left foot lifting the sole of your foot and keep breathing and one more deep breath in and as you exhale bring your left hand down and reframe your front foot so left foot can move back toward the midline and we'll come into a low lunge once you're steady reach your arms up overhead press your palms and as you exhale drop your prayer hands down behind the back of your head so your elbows point up chest flares open and then try and keep some abdominal engagement through your upper abdominals just below the floating ribs there and your lower pelvis between the hips so if you can brighten your chest a little brighter up toward the ceiling and then as you feel yourself breathe out take the hands to the floor walk them back underneath your shoulders and work out towards straightening your front leg so left toes point toward the ceiling along with your kneecap the quads are engaged so you're not locking your knee out and take a few breaths there just notice your posture in your upper body if you can be a little bit more open across the collarbones and then rolling forward re-bend your front knee you're going to take your right foot behind you straighten out through the left leg and with your left leg straight point your kneecap and your left toes toward the ceiling so you're on the heel of the left foot arms out wide to the side for gate pose and then stretch out across your chest from fingertip to fingertip and then take your left hand down to your straight leg left leg right arm straight up and this can be any amount it can be more of a side bend if you're a little bit more open there right arm can reach overhead and try and keep your belly button pointing out to the long edge of your mat rather than down to the floor just really notice your shape as you move through this sequence always trying to maintain that feeling of open openness and spaciousness in your chest and then as you breathe out swim your right hand all the way down next to your right knee raise the left leg and raise the left arm up and perhaps overhead so your lifted leg needs to be engaged here toes flexed and you're engaging the outer hip muscles here we're just making our way around the hips as we warm up one more deep breath in and as you exhale take your left hand to the floor and come to kneel so both knees down to the floor your toes tucked behind you and you can keep your hands supporting you on the floor here or if you feel comfortable in the knees start to balance on the toes and bring your torso into an L shape torso upright knees parallel with the floor balancing on your toes hands to the heart center so any variation that works for your knees and then from here take your hands to the floor you can keep your fingertips down or whole palms down and as light as you can see if you can hop your feet out really wide angle your heels out your big toes in for spread leg forward fold hands under the shoulders deep breath in lengthen halfway up look forward and as you exhale forward fold any amount between your wide legs allow your head to drop and if you are tighter in the hamstring muscles a little micro bend in the knees get the feeling that your spine is gently tractioning with the weight of your head and take three deep breaths coming up onto the fingertips take a halfway lift look forward and as you exhale walk around to your left foot keep your left foot there take your hands on the inside of the left foot 
and as gracefully as you can step your right foot up to come back into squat pose malasana so toes point out heels turn in sit down any amount on the back of your legs hands to your heart center and just using that gentle leverage elbows into the inner knees knees resisting encouraging and opening through the inner thighs the adductors from the groins toward your knees and then take the hands down we'll step back into lizard left foot steps back now hands stay on the inside of your right foot making sure your right knee's over your ankle there left knee can drop down to the floor And as you breathe in, pull your chest forward through your arms so you feel like your spine is stretching in one diagonal line, nice and open. Shoulder blades are lightly moving in toward the midline of your back. Your chest is opening. And some circles here are optional if it feels good in your hip. Just gliding in your body. And come back to centre, keep your left hand down there, take your right hand to the inside of your right knee, turn your right toes out, and you can lean out onto the outer edge of your right foot, an option to take your right hand to the ceiling. Just gently revolve and open through your torso, and stretching deeply into your psoas, your hip flexors there, down the top of the left thigh. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hand down and reframe your front foot. And coming into low lunge, reach your arms up when you're steady. Stretch really tall through the sides of your waist, through the reach of your arms. Press your palms and take your hands to the back of your head, pointing down to the back of your neck. Elbows point up, chest opens. So naturally you find a little bit more of an arch through your spine. Just see if you can support yourself there, engaging through your abdominals. Keep breathing, expanding through the ribs. And one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands under the shoulders for Ardha Hanuman, half monkey pose, straightening out through your right leg. And try not to lock the knee out. Engage through your quadriceps. Flex your toes and really push out through the balls of your toes. And keeping your hips right above the front knee at the back knee there. And then roll forward. We're going to transition into gate pose. Your left foot behind you to help support you and straighten out through the right leg there right toes point toward the ceiling get steady take your arms out wide into a gate and then right hand down to your right leg left arm either straight up or overhead you should be able to feel that you're opening up through the torso and gently warming the shoulders here but also getting a nice hamstring stretch through the back of your right leg And then just swimming your left hand over to the mat, come onto the fingertips, raise the right leg, flex your toes and reach your right arm straight up. Keep your gaze steady to hold your balance. Right arm could reach overhead and you can find that whole diagonal line from the right fingertips to your right heel. And then take your hand to the floor, both hands down now, and kneel there in the middle of your mat. Keep your toes tucked and keep your hands either on the floor here or gently creep back to balance on your toes. And bring your torso and legs into an L shape. And with your hands at your heart center, you can challenge your balance here, gently, gently closing the eyes, just feeling the dance of your toes try and hold steady and then blinking the eyes open taking the hands to the floor as lightly as you can hop your feet really wide here turn your heels out your big toes in take a halfway lift on your fingertips extend through your spine 
and exhale forward fold between your wide legs fire up the leg muscles push evenly down through all four corners of your feet hug and hollow in through your belly and release and relax all the way down to the very crown of your head and take one more deep breath in come up halfway as you exhale walk yourself around to the top edge of your mat framing your foot and we'll step quietly back to downward facing dog and you can pause here you can rest if you like the shape in your body or take a vinyasa rippling forward to a high push-up exhale low push-up knees can come down here to support yourself take a mild arch through your spine and emphasize that squeeze in your upper back shoulder blades toward one another ribs forward exhale downward facing dog take a deep breath in and a slow breath out and take a few more breaths here and all these hip opening postures are really helpful for easing back pain they can give you a little bit more of an agile gait and also improve the circulation in your legs so they're very helpful we're going to take one more deep breath in and we'll look forward in between our hands at the end of your exhale step lightly forward to the top edge of your mound just bring your toes together there inhale coming up halfway Ardha Uttanasana as you exhale fold over the legs as you breathe in rise to stand reach tall stand tall and then bring your hands to your heart center next breath in we're coming into chair pose bend the knees deeply bring your weight back into your heels reach your arms let your arms frame your ears and just stay nice and neutral in the back of your neck so the gaze can be down and a little forward there and make it active in your legs there so sit down quite low don't bring your buttocks any lower than your knees but make it quite active really stretch up through the sides of your waist and then press your palms lower your hands to your heart center take another deep breath in and as you exhale twist to your left hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee draw your left shoulder back and revolve to your left and if it feels uncomfortable a little tweaky in the low back you can modify here by taking your right forearm in front of your knees and that often encourages your knees to stay in line the pelvis to stay steady and stable we've got two more breaths here and keep the arrangement of your arms just send the gaze down so you balance there balance on your left foot and get a little lighter on the right foot there we're going to step back into a reverse prayer twist right foot lunges back keep the right leg straight land on the balls of your toes and then really power up your right leg before you start to send the gaze and challenge your balance out over your left shoulder bringing your thumbs toward your sternum any amount so you feel that twist occurring through the middle of your ribs and your upper back and one more deep breath in exhale release your hands and walk all the way around to your right over to your right foot as you go straighten the left leg and turn your left toes toward the ceiling and then come over to the left foot straighten the right leg skandhasana here side to side and feel free to be a little bit more upright if it suits your knees better and just float over to your right foot straighten the left leg and then from here we're going to come into warrior two so gaze down at your left foot make sure your left toes point forward and then wind yourself all the way up arms out wide and find your warrior so your back leg straight the outer edge of your right foot parallel with the back edge of your man you can have heel to heel alignment here or heel to inner arch alignment 
and then just check in with your spine you want to be straight up and down here a nice measure of that is armpits over the hips wrists over the ankles extend your tailbone down and away from the back of your skull so you really feel long through the torso upper body and there's a lightness and buoyancy to you strong and steady in the legs and then from here we're going to take eagle arms wrap your right arm on top of the left arm and either catch opposite shoulders or wrap your palms together so you want to try and feel like your upper back's doming a little you're still upright through the spine but your torso is now fully facing the long edge of your mat lightly draw the forearms forward and lift the elbows and then you've got a nice soft fuzzy gaze toward where your elbows cross see if you can sink down in the hips a little bit more gently encouraging the inner thigh to stretch toward your left knee and reach the arms out wide again unraveling warrior two stay steady in the legs and now as you exhale take your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers so keep your gaze pointing out to the long edge of your mat squeeze the shoulder blades together so you feel uplifted through your upper body and fist point straight down and see again if you can get a little lower in the hips keep the back leg straight float the arms up to warrior two breathe in stay here for your exhale and now as you breathe in reverse your warrior stretch up with the left arm right hand runs down the back leg and as you breathe down we mill both hands to the floor frame your foot and step quietly back to downward facing dog pause here if you'd like to do less or take a vinyasa nice and slow just moving at the pace of your slowest breath hide a low push-up upward dog or cobra and downward facing dog deep breath out when you arrive we're going to move straight over to the other side take the gaze forward as you breathe in end of your exhale bend the knees and step forward to the top edge of your man bring your toes to touch take a halfway lift when you arrive exhale forward fold rise to stand with straight legs reach your arms over heads and the gaze up exhale take your hands to your heart center next breath in bend your knees quite deeply come back to chair pose and then find your imaginary chair the place where you can feel like your legs are really working for you and your weights in your heels really driving down through the heels to lift up through your body through the sides of your waist and then press your palms here we're going to take our twist to the right now left elbow can hook to the outside of the right knee or you can take your forearm in front of your knees and that just holds it in alignment there right hand can sit to the small of your back as you twist it gives you a little bit more support gaze can fall up over your right shoulder and keep the arrangement of your arms just send the gaze down transfer your weight onto your right foot get a little lighter in your left foot and step back to reverse prayer twist so you've got lunge legs there <clears throat> left thigh lifting up in space <clears throat> pardon me and take a couple more breaths and one more deep breath in exhale eyes down then your hands down and walk around to your left all the way over to the left foot straighten out through the right leg right toes toward the ceiling skandasana and then float over to your right foot straightening your left leg back over to your left leg straighten your right leg thigh muscles engaged and then as you ground your right foot make sure the right toes point to 12 o'clock we're coming up to warrior two open the arms out wide firm and straighten your back leg and find your warrior 
placing a steady gaze out of your right middle finger really staying connected to your breath and also connected to the shape you've just made in your body any subtle adjustments you can make to feel more at ease more steady and keep your legs where they are here and we're just going to take our left arm on top of your right arm face your torso toward the left side of your mat and wrap the arms or catch your shoulders so use this stretch as a way of really widening through your upper back spreading its architecture so your forearms draw forward gaze fall steady toward where your elbows cross and take two breaths shoulders can soften away from your earlobes and then as you breathe in open the arms out wide back to warrior two lunge a little deeper take one more deep breath in exhale hands behind you now interweave the fingers take a deep breath in lift and puff your chest stay here draw the fists down so you get the feeling that your collarbones are almost a little higher than your shoulders there front ribs are drawing in your upper abdominals engaged and trying to avoid the front knee rolling in there keep pointing it forward almost to the little toe side of your front foot and then release the arms float them up warrior two stay here for your out breath keep the legs where they are inhale reverse your warrior and exhale windmill both hands to the floor frame your foot step quietly back downward facing dog and if you'd like to flow shift forward to a high push-up take your low push-up elbows pointing back upper dog or cobra and exhale downward facing dog pause and rest there really spread your fingers make sure your foundation is firm and stable got all the edges of your fingers pressing into the mat base knuckles of the fingers weights drawing energetically up your arms from your shoulders to your hips and then you're lengthening down the back of your legs to your heels and take two more deep breaths in and out And just notice how you feel in your shoulders if you feel a little bit more open in your downward dog we'll take one more deep breath in look forward between your hands and at the end of your exhale step or lightly hop forward to the top edge of your man bring your big toes to touch take a halfway lift when you arrive exhale forward fold rise to stand as you breathe in and exhale hands to your heart center take an extra breath here just a really big deep breath in part the lift side out of the mouth and then just taking your hands now to your hips we're going to balance here nice and slow warrior three to eagle you're going to transfer your weight onto your right foot raise the left knee so the left knee points forward just balance here and if you need to tap the toe down and reset do that right now find a steady gaze point and very slowly just start to tip forward and at the same time kick your left leg back if you're trying to find that L shape through your legs you can put a little micro bend in your front knee and then just swim the arms back alongside your legs reach to the edges of your fingers and at the same time draw the crown of your head forward so you almost become parallel with the floor so hold steady there keep breathing keep your gaze soft and focused and then place a bend in your right knee come all the way back to where we started the left knee in toward your chest standing upright 
and then wrap your left leg over the top of the right leg bending your right knee so you make a shelf for your left leg to sit left toe can tap to the floor you can hook your left foot around the back of your right calf and find the eagle legs and we're just taking our hands to our heart center here emphasizing that opening through the chest keeping the lungs available focus steady sink down just a little deeper there's a rest coming up to stretch out keep balancing on your right foot unravel the left leg you can take the fingertips to the floor stepping back for pyramid pose and step your feet so they're hip distance apart left foot back right foot forward on your in breath take a halfway lift maybe running the hands up the leg and as you exhale forward fold over the midline of your right leg so check in here if your left hip feels a little high or you feel a little out of balance through the hips try and roll the right uh, left hip down and resist with the right hip draw it back so you feel very balanced through the sacrum low back spine you can fold forward any amount here try and keep an integrity in your shape so the front of your spine feels open and it feels like it's lengthening hands can be supporting you on your leg perhaps hands to the floor and just bowing in keep pushing down through the big toe mound of your right foot right inner heel and then push down really firmly now front foot come all the way up reach your arms up overhead we're going to come into triangle pose so just turn your left foot out a little keep your right toes pointing forward arms out wide to the side hinge out over your right leg keep the right side waist really long then take the right hand down to your shin or the floor left hand extending toward the sky straight line left hand to your right hand lots of room around your neck drawing the shoulder blades in toward your spine down your back and notice if you can feel a little stronger in your legs by engaging your muscles and pushing down through the feet you're strengthening and toning the muscles either side of your spine here gently stretching into your hamstrings the back of your legs there particularly on the right leg left arm can reach up and overhead if that's accessible for you and it feels good take one more deep breath in and as you exhale take the hands down to the floor or we'll skip a vinyasa we're just going to lightly step forward to the top edge of the mat bring your big toes to touch take a halfway lift reset extend your spine exhale forward fold rise to stand as you breathe in arms up overhead gaze up exhale hands to your hips now spread through the sole of your left foot preparing to balance lift the right leg up point the right knee forward and reset if you need to try and feel steady slowly start to tip forward through the torso at the same time extend your right leg back and try not to let that right leg feel soggy keep it engaged right knee and your toes point toward the floor perhaps a little bend in the left knee always find that that's a little bit easier to hold your balance and feel comfortable in your body lift your shoulder heads up away from the mat maybe extending the fingers back so your arms straighten and then a bend in your standing leg bring the back leg forward wrap it over the top and sitting down into eagle pose And just taking your hands to your heart center really try and drop your buttocks down here at the same time hug your belly in hold your steady gaze and you're hugging everything to the midline of your body here don't worry if you fall out just remain patient aware 
Fingertips can come to the floor. We're unraveling here. Step your right foot back. Place it over in the right lane. Left foot's in the left lane. Take a halfway lift. Run your hands up your legs. So both legs are straight now. And then forward fold over the midline of your front leg. So could have a little micro bend in that front knee. Try and keep your back leg firm and straight. And the whole sole of the foot planted on the floor. This will hold you steady. And rather than just hanging out here, just tune into all the feedback from your body. Notice where you can make subtle adjustments in your body to feel a little bit more open and spacious through the front of your chest and spine. Across the back of your hips, try and level out. And then press firmly down through the big toe mound of your left foot and inner heel. Hold steady. Pushing down again through that front foot, come all the way up to stand, transitioning into triangle pose. Right toes turn out just a little here. Make sure your left toes point forward. Arms float out wide. Reach out toward your left and then down with the left hand, right arm up toward the sky. And sometimes there's a tendency to reach too far down with the left hand and we kind of lose the intention of the pose there because we are not only extending our hamstring muscles but we're also trying to extend our spine and work our back muscles so if you feel like you're in a bit of a banana shape here see if you can come up a little bit and get both sides of your waist parallel and let your right arm float overhead any amount reach out eyes down hands down and from here we'll step back to downward facing dog you can pause there or take a flow floating forward to a high push up exhale low push up a back bend of your choice and downward facing dog a little bit of movement just notice how you feel now having made your way around the hips around your shoulders and then smooth out your movement so you come back to stillness perhaps even closing your eyes really tuning in breathe deep we'll take three to five deep breaths here and then just bringing your toes together here at the back of the mat raise your right leg any amount off the floor stretch back and then bring your right knee to the back of your right hand for pigeon pose so if it doesn't suit your knees here to be in this kind of flexion come down onto your back and take a hip groin stretch here where your right ankle would sit on your left knee you can rest on your back and you can let your head rest heavy. And if you're in pigeon pose, extending through the front of your spine before folding forward. And just awareness into your back body there, making sure you feel level in the hips. If you've got lots of air underneath your right buttocks, you can wedge a blanket there just to help support you and provide alignment through the hips and your low back and this posture offers a deep stretch for your hips now that your legs are warmed up so just feeling for that around the outside of your right buttocks the inner right uh, groin and thigh and then empty your weight down letting your torso relax shoulders can relax and 
and give yourself three more deep breaths in and out really surrender gaze forward between your hands walk your hands back and step quietly back to downward facing dog left side now toes come together left leg rising any amount as you breathe in and then left knee to the back of your left hand as you breathe out so flex your left toes here that's important to help protect your knee and if you need to take this side on your back feel free to move there every in breath you're extending a little through the upper body and as you breathe out you're forward folding just creeping yourself a little deeper into the posture corners of your eyes relax your forehead your jaw and your mouth and just really slowly walking your hands back and stepping back to downward facing dog pedal out through your heels last downward dog for the class here we are going to make our way onto our buttocks here and you can take a light hop cross the legs or just cross your feet in front of you whatever works for your body and come to sit and we'll take both legs out straight in front of us and we'll take a forward fold from here and then we're going to recline back in Supta Baddha Konasana so just make sure you've got your blanket close by if you had the sausage of a blanket at the start of the class having it right next to you now sit evenly on your sit bones straighten the legs reach up nice and tall arms alongside your ears exhale forward fold so hands can arrive either side of your legs or onto the feet depending on your flexibility and just thinking about good posture in your upper body here if you are asked to stand tall make that shape with your upper body each time you breathe in as you breathe out try and keep that broadness openness spaciousness across your chest as you fold and fold forward any amount that feels comfortable in your low back spine and in your body two more breaths gently rising up and then from here if you did have the blanket you found it helpful bring the soles of your feet together and take the blanket over the arches of your feet and around to the side of your hips try and draw your pelvis a little closer toward the heels there so everything can nestle in and feel supported and holding onto the edges of the blanket just lay back onto your back onto the back of your skull and then tuck the blanket into the side so it's supporting you press down through the back of your arms so you can lift your buttocks and extend your tailbone toward the back of your heels so you maintain a natural curvature in your spine And then just rest back, back, arms can rest on your body, 
by your side or overhead as you complete your practice. And we're at 60 minutes now. If you have the time, please take another five minutes to rest here quietly in this beautiful, supported, restorative posture. Breathe calmly and let go of all your effort. And let your legs melt into the support of the blanket. And at any time, you can transition into Shavasana by extending the legs out straight and just slipping the blanket off to one side. Try not to fuss or be too restless in your body, really inviting your body to feel effortless now. Keep your movements calm. and rest. I hope you've enjoyed this hip and shoulder opening class. Thanks for joining me on the mat and I'll see you on the mat next time. Namaste.